Hi guys, I am Sushil from Networkism Technical Team and today's topic is .1x with self science Certificate Lab. So let's get started. So here we'll first of all understand what steps do we need to follow. Here, first of all, we need to download Cisco IE self science Certificate. Then we need to install certificate on the .1x PC. We need to enable adapter with certificate. Then we need to initiate .1x authentication from client PC. And then certificate will be validated from the .1x client with Cisco eyes. Post .1x authentication will succeed. So these are the steps that we need to follow. Now let's understand our lab topology and then we'll jump into practical. So here you can see we have Cisco eyes with IP address dot uh, triple one with management subnet 150.1.7.0 so ip will be dot triple one over here and we have dns server as dot 200 ntp server as dot 231 management pc right and we have a l3 switch over here which is configured with dhcp and also configured with your radius communication with your Cisco eyes. So from this L3 switch, we'll connect with our eyes, connectivity and all. And through this switch itself, we'll be doing .1x authentication on this particular PC. So first of all, we'll check a reachability between the switch and the eyes. And then from the eyes, we'll be downloading the certificate on our client machine. Now, you can download directly it on the client machine if you have the connectivity or else you can download the certificate and manually upload the certificate on your client PC. Now, whatever suits you, you can go with that. Now, let's jump into our lab. So here we can see we have a Cisco eyes. I log in here. I'll say admin sysc0123. Let the eyes log in first of all. And here you can see we have certificate. And inside the certificate, we have system certificate. And here you can see different types of certificates we have. So we need to download default self signed certificate on our Cisco uh, from the Cisco eyes to our client machine. So you can click on export and download the certificate. So uh, if you have your .1x PC in a different subnet or I mean in a different location, then you can you know copy this uh, certificate and uh, paste it inside the client machine. But in my case, what I have done is somewhere I have made the connectivity from the client machine to my PC itself. I'm like from the client machine to my Cisco eyes itself, right? So. I'll directly download from here. So see, uh, it's your choice. You want to copy and paste it inside the .1x PC or directly you can download it if you have communication with the Cisco eyes. So I'll just ping 150.1.7.111 and I'll download the certificate. In my case, copying a file would be, uh, would not be possible. So I would go with downloading the file test tps colon double slash 150.1.7.111 so let me log in into cisco eyes and download the certificate here and then i'll install this certificate into my client machine so this is my dot one x pc here you can see this is my dot one x pc i'm using cisco eyes just to download certificate here. So I'll log in with credentials. I'm logged in. Same process I'll do right now. So I'll get into administration certificates and system certificate and I have a default self signed certificate. I'll export it 
and after exporting you can see my certificate has been downloaded now this certificate i'll rename it with a dot crt extension and now i have to install this certificate in my pc so let me install it so i'll double click on the certificate click on open now let this certificate open then we'll install it now here you get an option of installing a certificate we'll say we want to install into a local machine say next and here we'll select the path where we have to install the certificate so i'll select the root certificate and click on ok and say next and say finish so now we have installed the certificate in our client machine. Now we'll get into adapter. So before I get into adapter, I'll make sure that my dot one X service is enabled, wired dot one X service is enabled. So you have to check services. Inside services, uh, scroll it down and below you guys will find wired auto config in my case i have already started wired auto config but generally with your pcs you want to have these services enabled so let's say it will be in this condition like it won't be in a started condition right so if this service is not started then your adapter won't have the authentication tab enabled like i can show you right now this is my dot one x adapter if I go to properties right now, I don't have authentication tab enabled here. So simply you need to enable wired auto config option inside the services. So once you see your service has been started, it's in a running state. Now, again, get into properties of the adapter, you can see authentication tab is enabled. So now we are going to enable 802. dot dot x dot one x authentication now after you enable the dot one x authentication we first of all need to validate the certificate so whenever dot one x authentication will be initiated from the client pc it should validate the certificate first with the cisco eyes then only the dot one x authentication should succeed so now let's get into settings and here click on connect write the domain name of cisco ice so it was ice 2cisco.com and in this certificate list i must see the certificate domain name that i had currently installed so this means the adapter will verify server's identity by validating the certificate so this is what we are doing now click on ok click on ok and uh, you can see it is uh, going for the dot one x authentication currently i'll disable this adapter i haven't configured any username password on the cisco eyes so for verification and all we have to do some prior check so right now i want to check connectivity from this l3 switch to cisco eyes whether i'm connected or not and i'll check the authentication between the switch and the eyes prior i do the dot one x authentication so now here <coughs> i'll come to l3 switch i'll check connectivity with my eyes 150.1.7.111 yeah it's connected and on this switch i have already configured triple a commands so running section AAA. So you can see all AAA related commands I have already configured here. And if you say so running interface G0 by 2, where my dot one X authentication will occur, you see dot one X related commands I have already assigned here. So I'm not going to do configuration of any AAA on the switch it's already configured and you can also see the radius related commands 
section the radius and you can see all these commands are properly configured so now here i'm just going to create one user on the cisco eyes let me first of all create any uh, group let's say admin group and i'll submit it and i'll create a user and assign that in the admin group so i'll create one user let's say user one password i'll give as a sisk0123 sisk0123 and i'll assign that user into group admin and i'll submit it so i created one user and i'll add my switch inside cisco ice so coming to cisco switch you can check the adapter so ip interface grave and here you can see this is my management ip so i'll select this ip and put it here this is my switch or you can say this is my L3 switch. Put this management IP and we'll connect with the radius. And on this switch, probably I configured the key as a Cisco. So here I have key given as a Cisco for authentication. So I connected the switch on Cisco ICE. I created one user. Let me test the authenticity before I go for dot one x authentication. So I would say test triple a group and here we can go with the uh, radius <clears throat> now we'll go with the username i created user one password sisk0123 with the new code and you see it's successfully authenticated it means uh, till now whatever configurations we have done and the connectivity with your cisco ice is fine with your nat device now I can proceed with the dot one X authentication. So I'll go with the default parameters guys. I'll go with the default policies that we have on the Cisco ICE. So I'll initiate the dot one X authentication here. I'll enable the adapter. And it is prompting me for authentication. And here I'll go with username, user one, password, Cisco 123 and click on OK and you see my dot one X authentication has occurred it has priorly done the certificate check between the client machine and the Cisco ice and then it has gone for the dot one X authentication so remember guys right now <clears throat> before the dot one X happened first of all before dot one X occurring here first of all it has sent the request of uh, it has sent the request of certificate check before it could send the IP request. First of all, it will do certificate check from the Cisco ICE. Okay. And then only it will go for dot one X authentication. So prior to dot one X authentication, your certificate check happens. Now let me show you without certificate check, your dot one X authentication will not occur. So right now you can see i have received ip address everything and my dot one x authentication has succeeded but i want to disable it as of now <clears throat> and uh, from the switch also i want to clear the authentication so uh, clear authentication session i have cleared it now we'll try disabling this adapter and verify the authentication so here i have disabled the adapter and i'll just go to the properties uh i don't get the authentication tab okay let me enable this adapter and it goes for the auto authentication right now uh, but i'll go to the properties here and i'll go to authentication tab i'll go to settings and here i'll try to disable this ice certificate right and i'll say okay and now it will prompt me for authentication i'll go for authentication 
with the username user1 and password sysk0123 and if I click on OK, you see your authentication will not succeed. Okay. So if I click again, if I try to re-authenticate again with the username user1 password sysk0123 and if I say OK, your authentication will not succeed. Okay, so your authentication will fail here. Okay, so now I'm unable to connect, but at the same time, if you guys click on authentication, go to settings, and if you click on ice.com certificate, and if you re verify with the user one password sysk0123 click on ok you see your authentication gets succeeded and you can verify the authentication on your uh, switch as well so we'll, let me just check on this switch so i'll go to the switch and here I can say so authentication session and you see your dot one X authentication has been succeeded successfully. So I'll see you guys in the next video with a new topic till then take care. Thank you.